there is two strategy to monitor, uh, to address CMV uh, impact in stem cell transplant recipients. We used to do, uh, more than 15, 20 years ago, a prophylactic strategy. What does it mean? Meaning, uh, at the start of, after engraftment, uh, and after transplant, and after engraftment, you start patient on one of the available uh, drugs on the market uh, from the get-go, uh, start them on the drug to prevent CMV reactivation. The problem with this strategy is you're exposing patient for a certain amount of time, usually up to three months, because this is the highest risk period for CMV infection, uh, expose them to a drug, uh, to a drug that could be uh, potentially toxic uh, with a major side effect. And give you an example. Again, cyclovir uh, can cause myelosuppression. Uh, Vargancyclovir also, which is the pro-drug of gancyclovir, may have the same side effect. Uh, Foscarnet, another available drug uh, we know from experience and from many uh, published studies, it has an impact on the kidney function and can cause nephrotoxicities as well as electrolyte imbalances and other uh, serious side effects. Because of all these uh, drawbacks of these drugs, uh, we moved away from prophylactic regimen uh, around 15 or 20 years ago, and now most of the centers, if not all, are doing preemptive therapy or preemptive strategy. And what I mean by that is, uh, if you have a good sense of test, like a molecular assays or even antigenemia, uh, you test periodically, usually once a week or twice a week, uh, for CMV in the blood, uh, either at the time of the transplant or uh, around the time of engraftment, and you look for CMV reactivation. Because patients with CMV reactivation may be asymptomatic. So that's why we do it periodically. We do it once a week, twice a week, even without symptoms. And as soon as we found a positive test above certain threshold that's defined a little bit differently in different centers uh, in the U.S. and in Europe, uh, we start treatment. So we wait until we have a positive test above certain threshold and we start treatment, could be short duration treatment until patient uh, respond to treatment and CMV viral load goes down or CMV antigenemia uh, disappear, then we may stop the treatment and continue preemptive therapy. Uh, the reason we start doing this kind of strategy for more than a decade, because this way we have less exposure to this toxic drug available for us uh, on the market uh, for at least 20 years now, uh, hopeful, hoping for uh, less incidence of side effect uh, and major side effect uh, from these drugs. 